I have spoken of the racial rape of our people, our race being raped by the white race, and how that rape does not define our people, and that it is only a scar upon our people. But there are people who want to celebrate that rape with nuestra raza, nuestra raza cósmica. And I am a proud mestizo. Dia de la Raza is celebrated on October 12th, Columbus Day. We celebrate the rape of our people, the destruction of our civilizations. We are too ignorant to even know it, to understand that we are being made fools. I have also spoken of cultural castration where we are no longer able to reproduce ourselves culturally, not in an authentic way. That also bothers people. Men hate the word castration. Others say, I am not a scar. I am proud of both of my bloods. They speak this as if they know what they are speaking of. They do not. Do they know that Spaniards kill 95% of our people, 70 to 100 million human lives of our people all across our continent? And they still want Spaniard pride? Que pinche locura. The Spaniards laugh at our continued ignorance. They think we are silly creatures. Look in the internet and see what Spaniards think of us. They are the KKK, the neo-Nazis. They are even angry why we call ourselves Latinos and Hispanics. Esos indios no son hispanos ni latinos. And we respond, si, sí, si, sí, somos. Ignorance of history has us speaking like ignorant fools, like clowns, like a people without dignity. But all is not hopeless. A full knowledge of our heritage is what will liberate us from the slavery in which we exist. This knowledge needs to go out to the whole world. It will free the world. It will also free white people from their lies. We need to speak facts and not ignorance, with courage and not cowardice. We need to speak the fact that we have been on this continent for 20 to 50,000 years or more. And that is longer than the 40,000 years that Europeans have been in Europe before they came out of Central Asia. The Germanic tribes have only been in Europe for 3,000 years. They don't even know that. There is also the fact that this whole continent belongs collectively to us as Nicantlaca, that we have a duty to be united and free as a Nicantlaca nation, and that our Nicantlaca nation is not an impossibility, not impossible to have as a united and free nation from Alaska to Tierra del Fuego. And there is also the fact that we need to make it clear to ourselves and to the European settlers that we are still under occupation, still in colonialism, still in a process of genocide, and that we need to confront white supremacy, that we need to confront colonialism, we need to confront this genocide. White supremacy has to be destroyed completely even when that white supremacy is coming out of our own people. We need to understand that we are a people who have 6,000 years or more of being a civilized people with civilizations like those in Peru. Yes, Peru is Nicantlaca. They are part of our people. We are part of them. 
Our collective civilizations go back to at least 3700 BC. That is an older civilization than Egypt and way older than anything in Europe. These are new facts that just came out over the last 10 years. We had cities with art, architecture, schools, hospitals, astronomy, observatories, the most accurate calendar in the world, writing systems, the mathematical concept of zero before anyone in the world, and agriculture and foods that now produce 70% of the foods in the world. There's more. We had a theology and philosophies that are the equals or the greater of any in the world. Our societies were democratic, egalitarian meritocracies that had a concern for the whole of society over the selfishness and individuals as in the case, as is the case of the Europeans on our continent today. We were not a perfect people nor were we savages, as has conveniently been portrayed by Europeans. We were already bathing when the Europeans didn't even understand the concept in 1492. We had mandatory education for males and females when Europe only provided education for male elites of the dictatorships that they called kingdoms and principalities, the royalties. We were in the process of unity forming alliances, confederations, and other forms of cultural and political union when the Europeans began invading our world. The Europeans raped, robbed, massacred, destroyed our world and its accomplishments. They took the wealth of our lands, killed the majority of our people with their cowardly weapon of smallpox. They put the 5% of the remains of our population into slavery, we were informal slaves of the Europeans for almost 300 years. After that, we became the slaves without chains that we are today. All of those centuries of slavery psychologically damaged our people and our culture. Rape and oppression mutilated our humanity. Slavery and rape are the reason why we are so many Garcias and Martinez's and Gonzalez's and Rodriguez and all the rest. The same way that African descent people are Jacksons and Jeffersons and Washingtons and Jones and Smith, etc. Africans were slaves on plantations. We were slaves in haciendas and the mines. Africans were also raped. They were raped by the evil slave masters. We were raped by our evil slave masters. So don't be taking so much pride in your Spanish last name. That is the name of a slave. That blood, what little there is of European blood is the blood of rape. And that name is the name of an evil slave master, a racist rapist who forced his Christ his Christianity on us. We are slaves even now. Most of us don't even know it. We are slaves in our names and our languages, English and Espanol, in the blood raped and chained to us, the scar with which we live. The Jews were raped by Russians and Germans and others. They ignore the rapes and don't let it be anything other than a scar from centuries of rape. The same happened with the Turks and the French and the Italians and other people around the world. They are not crippled by that history, by the rape of foreigners. They do not celebrate invasions and rapes. We are the only ones that celebrate the blood rape. Even the 30 to 50% of us who have no European blood, we celebrate the rape of our people. Over the last 500 years, we have tried to fight the white supremacists who invaded our lands. We failed. We failed because we thought 
they were rational, moral, honest, civilized people like us. We were wrong. They executed our leaders, kidnapped and enslaved our people, raped our population, used smallpox to kill the majority of our people. They stole everything from us, history, identity, freedom, pride, honor, and the wealth of our lands. Evil and smallpox, racism and immorality, all had their part in our defeat and our enslavement. But there is one part that we do not put enough emphasis on. There was a treason. Hatuwe, our first warrior leader against the European invasions in the Caribbean, was not defeated by the Europeans. He was betrayed by traitors amongst our own people. Cuauhtémoc was executed because he was betrayed by our people. Tupac Amaru was betrayed, Sitting Bull was betrayed, Crazy Horse was betrayed, Zapata was betrayed. The list is long and shameful. The traitors are amongst us. The opportunists are amongst our people. They have added to our enslavement. There are traitors and cowards amongst our people today. Some join the Minutemen. Others speak racism against Nicantlaca heritage. Others are politicians who toy with our identity and our history. They put us on the slave labels of Hispanic and Latino. They tell us that our past doesn't matter and that being Americans is the only thing that matters. We do not confront those traitors as a people. Mexica movement has confronted traitors like Eddie Olmos, Gregory Nava and other traitors. They are in fact white supremacists, these traitors, the white supremacists of our own people. Yes, white supremacy is evil, as is colonialism and the genocide of our people. But white supremacy is the most evil, the most monstrous when it comes from our own people. Treason and cooperation with injustice and genocide are evils of the lowest form for any people. We are now kept in slavery more by tradition of fear and cowardice, by the continuation of the vendidos leading our people into more slavery and more and more genocide because we are ignorant of the truth of our history and the reality of our slave condition. So quite simply, the solution for liberation is education, Nicantlaca education, education that is in our interests and that leads to a total liberation from European occupation. We are not seeking assimilation, not partial liberation. Those are just extermination for our people. We are working for total liberation. 